I mean, even this, whatever the fuck this is, if you can't draw this yourself, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That's fu- this is this is garbage can. Right? I, this is one thing I did want to talk about tonight because I had to answer a question from somebody in my, my community for my podcast. Is it possible to cite the original material or does it just pull from hundreds of different images? Is there a way to only access license-free or public domain content? Um, the easy, the two easy questions to answer in that are obviously the, the second and the last one. Is it possible to cite the original material or does it just pull from hundreds of different images? It pulls from thousands of different images um, and and keeps some of them um, sort of toward the po- top of the pile. Um, it recreates other people's art and stuff. I mean, if you look at the old Stable Diffusion things, they would actually include people's uh, mutated signatures on, on art. So you could tell it was stealing from real art because when it was putting the real art in there, it kept the the signatures on it. And so it was trying to recreate signatures. So it's literally forging (laughs) signatures on the art. The large language models, uh, you just basically put in uh, shit tons of work and it basically, the, the, the program figures out how stuff is put together and then recreates it using that stuff because AI art is not a real thing. Computers can't generate new content. They can only repurpose original content and and mix it up and mush it up which is not an original creation that would technically be it would fall in the category of like collage and in actual art even if it does look like it's a whole thing which we can see with uh with shad here as i'll I'll get into this um it's kind of a soulless way to make stuff as you can see ai art always has this vibe to it once it's been established and you've seen it you can always get a vibe for it. And I think a lot of it is because the AI programs get lazier, uh, which is just a, a notable thing. They get lazier as they go on because the way that they're modeled is to always seek out doing things in the way that gets them the cookie, so to say. As in the end user has said, hey, I enjoy this product. So for the AIs, it's always going to be to use the smallest amount of possible things that people like. And as things are liked more or liked less, the AI will start being, it'll hit a creative cone and shrink into a point where it's only making the specific looking thing that that you want. And it's fucking creepy and soulless because basically the AI has figured out that there's one female body type or selection of female body types. And if it finds 3d models basically which is what this kind of looks like it can just always input a clothing skin over the top of what it understands is this 3d model of a woman of a woman in various poses and then it doesn't have to work as hard to create this which is going to make it considerably less and less and less dynamic because as it says okay it wants poses it wants big booba woman then it's going to go, okay, well, these poses need to be these more generic things that look like modeling poses. And so you kind of get these extremely simplistic arms out, legs together, sort of like very generic model type photos, right? If you were an actual comic book artist, you know, the, if we just look, I'll double check just in case, like uh, Supergirl covers, in Supergirl issues, you know, this is what an actual series of covers in Supergirl, for better or for worse, looks like. So we have all of these different ones. I wish you didn't have the shopping one up there. So you can see how much more dynamic these poses are compared to um, Shad's ripoffs. And even some of these are based on models, but when these artists are trying to put these things together, they're articulating feel and vibe. And even if it's, you know, less good ones i think like these i don't like as much um because it just kind of reminds me of the 90s style that super super duper skinny rob liefeld thing this one's kind of cool she's got like an actual expressive face on there but you know you actually have a lot more humanity humanity in these models and so that's why ai art is 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 fundamentally it, it by design always going to be inferior because it can't make new stuff it can't um 
it can't take the next step in creativity, which is to create something that has never existed before because it can only operate off of the logic of, of what is in its head. It can't even make a mistake and then work off of the mistake, which is something that artists do all the time. I'm not a professional artist, but I like to draw a lot in my spare time and I find very often that I will make a mistake. Even when I do like music production or um, when I'm when I'm doing my writing or audio production and stuff, I will make a mistake or a blunder or uh, I, I, will, I will come across something that is an actual moment of inspiration, a, a literal exegesis of something from nothing. And then I've, I've literally created, you know, and then you can go off of that. When the AI draws the hands wrong, the AI just tries to figure out how to draw the hands right. You know what I'm saying? It just it just tries to copy and copy and copy and copy and copy, which you might be like, oh, but that's like practice, right? Sort of, but also not really, because it's not trying to draw hands better. It's trying to draw hands in a way that the end user will say is okay. And so instead of trying to figure out where its shortcomings are in hand creation, you know, and be like, okay, so is it that my hands aren't dynamic enough? What is a dynamic hand? It can't learn that way about people you know it can't go outside and and like get a feeling in its heart about the way that you know the mailman is putting mail in a slot the way that a kid is catching a ball at a park it doesn't get the vibe you understand it can only at best photographically recreate something that's already there which in this case is just something that other human beings are doing in the first place anyway it's in the minds of people that don't know too much about this stuff, probably, and, and especially people like Shad, I guess, it probably seems uh, like a fine line, but it really, it, it's really as, as, as broad as it gets. Um, and so I guess we're just going to talk. I just want to take a second and make fun of Shad because this shit's fucking hilarious. Interesting. The new replies about AI art that it's all terrible, worse than a banana stuck to a wall. So artists have nothing to worry about. People don't want terrible art or it is deflection. Unfortunate because they could benefit from AI art the most. No need to be afraid. This is wild. That looks like shit. <laughs> and this is definitely another one of the cases of, uh, of, of an absolute lack of dynamism. If we get close, we can start seeing the errors here. This dude's torso is fucking wrecked. Is this supposed to be like... I think this is actually supposed to be some sort of child, right? Uh, or is it supposed to be him? Is this the is this the Clark Kent to the, the Shad Man, I guess? The Shad of Earth? He's Shad Man. He's just Shad Man now. This is a child's torso with a, with a very skinny man's neck. This is like... Unless he's got like padding or something. His shoulders are only this wide. But his arms are like this long. That's just real bad proportions. And then his feet, I guess he is um, like a, a, a Chinese woman from the 1990s and he's doing the foot wrapping. Shad's insistence on the validity of AI art and his disregard of the SAG after strikes has been slowly alienating even his most nutty audience members. More so the AI thing. Well, I'm not surprised because it's it's one of those things where you can you can kind of approach it from, you know... Hey man, I'm being a little reactionary. I'm going to be a prick about this. The people I don't like have chosen this side of it. So I'm going to choose the other side just to get a fucking laugh. And, and I, that's like, it's the fucking Gamergate thing all over again, basically. You know, hey, I'm just going to choose the other side no matter what. And, it, you know, it, kinda, it can kind of go both ways. But with the AI art thing, you're actually kind of, you're cutting into the fucking tendies time. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone does have to get to a moment where they have to come to grips with the fact like, so no one's going to make more Harley Quinn. Like I don't get to see any more Harley Quinn. I don't get to see another DC animated short because they're going to make it all with AI. And then once you see the AI over and over and over again, and they're like, this is the worst it's ever, or this is the worst it's ever going to be. I hear to Philip DeFranco say that all the fucking time. Um, it, but it's also, it, it's, it's technology and te technology increases at a logarithmic rate. It always peters out. That's why we don't have flying cars. Cars were always getting better, right? Cars were always getting faster. So why from 1905 or whatever till 2023 can cars not go 15 million miles an hour? Why can cars not go Mach 6? It's because there's an upper limit 
to to the to the technology. And like I, I know that you can probably put four wheels on something and shoot it through the fucking Utah salt flats at Mach six, but that's not that's not like I'm talking about a fucking passenger sedan. You know what I mean? Also, that one AI superwoman looks like the hereditary girl for real. Real shit. She got that forehead though. <laughs> this is apparently uh I, I think I saw these the first time I ever talked about Shad, uh, or the second time. And uh he oh that one's this is really bad. And he said, uh this is this is his wife's face, I guess, on this. And I, I think I said this the last time I saw these. But I really, really hope um, his wife is cool with doing this because if I started, I have a wife, I'm married. If I started fucking AI photoshopping my wife's face onto buxom AI generated super heroines, I would get in trouble. Maybe not even like just trouble, trouble. It would be like, do you want to talk? that's that's really fucking weird behavior adult to adult what the fuck are you doing <laughs> oh man but these are just these are just ridiculous uh or it's deflection unfortunate because they could benefit from ai art the most i, I don't think you can benefit from this kind of ai art i can say that and I, this goes into the next part of the conversation there is value in machine learning model based technology in the creative field as an assistive tool the same way that like rulers and 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 power saws and like drills and stuff have kind of like upped creativity none of the way he's working does that a thing i got to use recently um yeah it's it's the content aware fill which you shouldn't be using to like decrop photos and add new shit but it's basically um if you know what a bleed is on a on a photograph or something like that for printing Basically, the way that my original art piece was made, it has just blurs on the side of it, right? Like bokeh type blurs, if you know what bokeh is, like that burst out in the background of a photograph, inch it, like literally next to nothing, just so that when the cut comes out, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit extra. And that's like a fine use of that sort of tool, mainly because it's only using my original art. It's not drawing on anything else to make that that that's just fixing it a little bit. It's kind of like saying very similar to spell check. Spell check does not replace an editor, right? Spell check goes in, it double checks things against uh, a sprawling dictionary of words. And if it matches, it's ignores that word. If it doesn't match, you get the red underline and it suggests replacements. If you're using the Google docs one, sometimes it doesn't even do that particularly well. Same sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, there's definitely nobody's job that's going to get replaced by that. It's just saving me a little bit of time, kind of like getting a real ruler instead of trying to use the edge of a book. It's that sort of stuff. I think in cases like that, um, there's another one that is a machine learning tool that I like in uh, Krita, which, and, and it's still, it's pretty flawed. And that is the, um, I can't, chromatic something or other. It's basically just an advanced version of a fill tool that detects the lines in your original line art. And once you've marked in all of the areas, the colors that you want, it sort of does the flats for you according to those boundaries. And it's still a flawed tool. You have to literally go in and kind of mush it. And I actually stopped using it anyway because it wasn't particularly great. But if that worked, that would be a thing that speeds up my workflow. Um, the uh, and one that I would prefer that I wouldn't mind actually just out in the world and you still need people to come and double check it would be captioning. Captioning tools, I think are fine. Um, AI being used to help people that can't communicate. This is an example I usually bring up when I'm having this conversation, like at a bar. If you have like those Grammarly things on your phone, I can't stand it. And I don't like, I don't have respect for people that use Grammarly to like write books and shit and get suggestions to finish a book. That's, that's corny, but you know, it is what it is in, in general. And I don't think that that's going to be a particularly big risk for my bottom line as a writer. But if you have somebody that say somebody has a broken jaw, right? 
or they've had a stroke. Uh, stroke would be a very good one. You know, instead of writing on a fucking chalkboard like Legends of the Falls, if they can have something that sort of predicts the text and based on a large language model assists them in communication and like really speeds up response and uh, talk between them and like a doctor or something, that's a perfect use of AI technology. And that's where I want stuff like that to go to. And I think that's really what it's best suited for because I've seen books written by AI and they're dog shit. And I've seen pictures drawn by it and that's bad. But I have, you know, had little conversations phone to phone with people and sometimes like, it's like, hey, you know, speed up. Okay, hey, thanks for that, blah, 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 and just eliminate the small talk aspect of conversation. I saw a guy that used AI art to make uh, his background at a concert, right? Um, and it was like this skeleton. And it does just that fucking, that wavery, like, uh, man, is it a mandala? I'm trying not to say Mandela effect. A mandala. You know, like a tool cover? How tool covers look? if you knew anybody that smoked pot in the fucking nineties, uh, they would have a thing like this on their wall where if you looked at it for too long, you would get sucked into oblivion, fucking that kind of shit. It's like one of those, but it's active in that case. Maybe I don't quite 100% give a fuck, you know, let his fans meet it out. It doesn't really seem like it's one of those things where he's kind of cutting out people in the largest, like, um, I don't mind using all of the, all of the AI art, all of the shit. If you want to make stuff that says like in house and inside of a circle, like shit posts, I think that's fine. If you want to use your AI art to make, you know, photos of, uh, the Hillary Clinton dunking on fucking Bernie Sanders or fucking Donald Trump getting arrested or, you know, the Dwayne, the rock Johnson's head is the fucking moon for a fucking for shits and giggles i think that's fine because it's equivalent to graffiti like i like i would not try to fuck with graffiti um you know as a as a as a matter of my 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 ip if i found out that honestly if i found out that somebody rewrote one of my entire stories on the inside of a port of shitter and magic marker i would be more stunned by the effort that that took than i would be concerned and it's also transformative inherently anyway but yeah, I think that answers pretty much all of my uh, my things about AI. In general, it's 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 not it's not a moral thing to do. Uh, if you're bad at art and you're making art in AI, you're stealing. Because if you couldn't draw it yourself, uh, I mean, even this, <laughs> whatever the fuck this is, if you can't draw this yourself, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That's fu- this is this is garbage can grade shit. Over what looks like a picture of uh, 1940s uh, post fall of Berlin, Berlin. This looks like they just knocked it. This looks like the fucking Reichstag is, is on fire, which I wouldn't be surprised that Chad has that picture on there. But I think, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap up the segment. Like and like subscribe. And like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.